All right, y'all's favorite moment, the startup. What I love about this is even if I start the bike while the uh, dash is, you know, starting up, it doesn't interrupt it. Like, it still continues on without restarting the uh, startup sequence. On the S1000, it doesn't do that. It cancels it, I think. I don't know. Let's get out on the road. Daily 100 for the day. Not that that's, you know, going to be the only Daily 100, but it's the first one of the day. Ah, the sound, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm in a great mood today, guys. I'm just so freaking hyped up. I got a long weekend ahead of me. Man, it's just a freaking great day. I'm feeling good today. I've been working out a lot with dust. Oh god, all that freaking dust, jeez. This dang truck. Is this the road that I want? Oh, whoops, I was supposed to do that little turny turn. Oops. I kind of wanted this road to myself, but alas, I cannot have it to myself, which is a little bit of a bummer. I've been working out a lot with Dustin. Uh, you guys know I got like a little home gym in my garage, which has proven to be amazing. I finally got some adjustable dumbbells. I don't know if I mentioned that in the video, but I've been waiting for a long time to uh, to order the, uh, the ones that I wanted. And the ones that I wanted never came back in stock. But in the meantime, I found a different set that I liked even more, and they're awesome. I think they're cut by a company called Nuo, Nuo Bell? Nuo, Nuo Bell? I don't know how to say it. This isn't a sponsor on this video anyways. Oh, speaking of the sponsor, let's head back to the garage real quick. Today's sponsor is Bespoke Post. And before you skip ahead, I, I'm really excited to see what's in this box. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that sends you really top of the line stuff from kind of under the radar brands. Whether it's like cocktail making kits or outdoor gear supplies, bags, knives. And the cool thing is you don't actually have to accept it if you're not into what you're gonna get. You can preview everything before they send it to you. If you don't like what they picked out for you, you can swap it for another box uh, or you can just skip it all together. There's no contract. You can, you know, pause your subscription at any time. Go ahead and uh, check out what we got in here. Oh, okay. So I've been really into bourbon lately, like a lot. Check this out. A jumbo ice ball freezing kit. So you can uh, have the best balls in the neighborhood. Ooh, old fashioned glasses. Nice. And uh, a field guide to whiskey. Like I'm telling you guys, coolest, most random stuff that you probably wouldn't have found on your own. Let's see what we got in our other box right here. Oh, got myself a new knife. Now every box you're gonna get has over $70 in value in it, but it only costs $45 a month. And if you use my code with the link that is in the top of the description, you guys will get 20% off your first box. Got a nice sheath in here. Look at this knife. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I just realized I missed something. Traditional old fashioned cocktail and soda syrup. So this was the, the weekender that I got last time. I've been loving this thing. I'm using it this weekend. We're going out of town. It's really, really cool. High quality canvas, um, like leather straps and handles. And like I said, you can get 20% off your first box with the code Modernosity20 that you can use at checkout using the link down in the description. Thanks to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back on the R1. Tiny wheelie action. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, so I, I got finally got a set of adjustable dumbbells and they're by this company called Nuo Bell. And they're amazing. the whole TikTok thing is sheesh, but I've always said geez. I mean, I say sheesh sometimes, but I think it's funny because people are obsessed with saying sheesh and I would always say geez in my videos. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, I 
keep getting sidetracked. I got a set of adjustable dumbbells and they're amazing. It's not sponsored. I just really like them. But they go up to 80 pounds and all you gotta do is just change the, uh, just like rotate the, the handle. Can I pass you? Can I pass you? Please, can I pass you? Please, can I pass you? Please, 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 please. Here, I'm gonna pass you real quick. like rotate the handle and it switches uh, like a little metal rod goes out to more weight and that's how it picks up additional weight it, we're, and they they feel like real dumbbells it's awesome I love it they're kind of expensive it's like $750 but they go up to 80 pounds and if you know how much it costs to buy like individual dumbbells up to 80 pounds you look at you're looking at spending over a thousand dollars so I may be spending 750 but compared to separate ones and they take up way less space. me I'm not I'm not speeding but yeah I've been working out a lot with Dustin uh, if you don't know him he's been in a few videos he writes uh, an R1 old model I've been getting him in shape pushing him hard and uh, we had a really good workout last night so anytime I have a really solid workout like either if it's in the morning the next day is awesome if it's it like in the evening then my next day is awesome but I'm just feeling good yeah the only thing I'm a little bit bummed about is the fact that I was waiting on uh, the um, handheld unit from Bren tuning to do the ECU flash on the R1 so if you're wondering this is the last ride on my R1 until I flash it <laughs> I was hoping that I would have it before uh, leaving for the weekend and so I could take care of that video I know I, I said that the next video would probably be doing the ECU flash on this but there is a shipping delay freaking UPS man as soon as I get back Monday we are doing the ECU flash so probably Tuesday video will come out and you guys will have to see what this thing will do I'm so stoked you guys know I've been waiting for this for ages I'm pretty sure I made a video like I think it was my what I hate about my R1 video or like don't buy the R1 or something like that and I basically talked about the fact that you still couldn't do an ECU flash over a year after the bike was released but Brent Tuning has seemingly made it happen so I'm really really excited to see if it I can notice a difference because you guys know that I I already have the rapid bike tuner um, like piggyback unit on here but with this bike they're not able to uh, make any change like that unit's not able to make any changes below I think 6,000 rpm so like it feels it feels a little bit like VTEC on this thing I have no idea where road this is I don't know where I am Oh, this is not a road. Uh, this is a cemetery. I'm going to be respectful. I'm not sure if anything else is back here. I do not. I did not mean to do that. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm sorry. Man, I would love to have some land. I don't think I'd want to buy land here, though. Not like in this specific area. Like I don't really have a problem with it, but just like in Texas. We really want to be in the mountains. We want to be someplace that has seasons. By the way, I have no idea where I am. I don't even know if this comes out somewhere. Uh, for a while, we wanted to move to Colorado. For a while, we also wanted to move to Montana. But right now, this works for us. We got a lot going for us where we are. We're happy to be where we are. Bro, I don't know. I don't. I literally do not know where I am. I have a feeling I'm just going to keep riding down this road and it's never going to end, but there's also not going to be an outlet. And I'm just gonna have to turn around and ride the same thing back all the way to the entrance. Like the fact that those cars were driving that way and the only thing that is that way is the exit. I have a feeling that this is not gonna come out the other side. <laughs> Bro, what is that? A lot of little tiny hay bales. In the last video that I did on the R1, there's, uh, I, I mean, I was talking about like, how much I love the R1. The R1 has a platform. And so there's some discussion in the comments about the R1 having character and the S1000 not having character. 
and I've touched on it a little bit a little bit before but I'm not like I don't feel that like I, I understand why people say that but for me they both have character they're just different people say say that a little bit about the GTR like it's got no soul it's too computerized and I see that with the S1000 but it's also just like a really fun bike and after you throw an exhaust on there it feels really raw and it also feels really freaking fast but it doesn't feel soulless but at the same time like there is a lot of character in the R1 Bro, I really don't know if I'm gonna come out the other side I don't know where I'm going should I pull over like before I get too far on a normal day where I was just going out to ride I would have no problem with just like riding and riding and riding with like no uh, like destination in sight and being okay with getting completely lost uh, but I gotta be back by a certain time because we gotta drive to Houston <laughs> oh, I am out here I am thoroughly out here I'm definitely headed in the wrong direction right now I'm gonna stop right here for a second and check my map bro there is actually an outlet over here I'm actually kind of happy that was awesome this worked out perfectly <laughs> Although with how far out here I am and like who knows what animals are going to be crossing the road. This could be my last ride on the R1 for other reasons. Look at this. I stopped and it was literally 10 seconds from the road. Oh yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like the S1000 has soul and character just like the R1 does, just in a different way. I enjoy, like I legitimately enjoy riding both bikes and I had a hell of a lot of fun on both of them. be cool to have a lot of land like this i just don't know if i would want a lot of land here but we just have too much going for us here and it's oh we really like where we're at we're in an awesome neighborhood live close to a lot of our friends and we're, we're close enough to family so If there's any, anything else that you guys want to see me do on this bike, let me know down in the comments and I'll start getting to work on trying to make that stuff happen. I know I do have to do the uh, RGB LEDs on the front. Levers are definitely a big one because you guys can see them all the time. So that's been it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to get out here, out on the R1 one more time before we do the ECU flash, have a little fun. Just enjoy the freaking weather, man. Because I think next week we're supposed to have like four or five straight days of rain at least. So you guys have been awesome. I've been Modernosity. Remember, life's better than horsepower. Keep life lived. And I'll see you guys in the next one.